Hello, Paul again here from EMD Automotive. Just want to show you this is the actual Q7 <clears throat> that we're working on the steering column problem. All right, just bear with me because today is raining and it's really windy. Let's have a look at this one. Nothing at all. Sometimes something comes up here on the steering as well, some few fold, but I get nothing. All right, so let me connect the one I've got, and I'll show you the old. The old I'll, let me disconnect the old one, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I disconnect the old one. This is the old one as well. Sometimes they have problem with the switches here, and sometimes they have problem with the relays. This one here as well, and sometimes they have problem with the actual motor, which is this one here. So you can get a new one from Audi, Audi or Volkswagen, but they're very expensive because they come complete with the steering column. All right, this is the original one. They can have a faulty motor, which is that one there, faulty switches here, or faulty relay. All right, and sometimes the ECU is corrupted. They can be corrupt as well. Yeah, causing a lot of problem. Okay, let me connect the other one to the car. Okay, so this one here acts as if it's got a steering column but doesn't have a steering column lock, but it does not have a steering column lock. So let me just connect this on. Just bear with me, I only got one hand and it's starting to rain. Okay, now this one here. Okay, all right, now I've got that one there. You hear that? Ignition on. Can you hear that? The little speaker there acts as if it's a, it's a lock. So I still give it a lock noise. Unlock. Sorry, lock, unlock, and lock. So this board here tells the computer that everything is connected but really it doesn't have the lock connected to the steering wheel so you don't need that steering wheel lock you need this one here it's a waste of time putting all that stuff together <clears throat> because you're going to end up uh, having another problem all right just you need the key to really steal a car this day and age all right you can't just steal it without no key unless you have to tow the car away or break in and have a sophisticated uh, uh, key data reading data uh, tools which cost a lot of a lot of money like fifty to sixty thousand dollars to have that unless you have you don't have one of those unless you have one of those then you can actually read the key and muck around and do that as you see on YouTube videos which they can do it but I'm talking about just a normal car family car save a lot of money by doing it this way and actually buying the whole lot all right, now you can see it in front of you. It's working. Yeah, ignition on. Starts. All right, thanks for watching and please subscribe.